comet breeze, the mesa to the western skies, with the sound of a thousand cattle drives. A chosen few would see the light and find the wrong with right. Up on the mesa, high above the clouds, there's a world apart from all the rest. On the mesa, live the real cowboys, standing up for law and order. Living by the code of the West Cleaning up the territory Keeping evil on its toes Takes a different breed of ride Rope and brave heroes On Moon Mesa Live the real cowboys Standing up for law and order And living by the code of the West Rhubarb pie. Here you go, Miss Calamity. The biggest nugget to come out of the mine. Mm. Thanks, Cody. I figure to send my pappy some pocket money this year. How long has Colonel Cudster been gone? No, oh, pappy left seven years ago to explore the Mesa. And he's ripped me faithfully once a year ever since. That's why I'm headed out tonight to meet the mail. You sure are devoted to your pappy, Calamity. Yeah, <laughs> that how come you never got married? <laughs> it so happens this cow likes being on her own, okay by you? That's oh, fine. Sure, that's fine. I wouldn't say that. All right, time to pack it in. Y'all take your percentages. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, you kidding me? Well, it's my business when I choose to get hitched, and I ain't waiting for no bull on no white horse. <clears throat> Uh, Miss Kate, I, uh, brung you this. Why, Dakota, your favorite blanket. You've had this since you were an itty-bitty calf. Well, thank you. It'll keep me warm tonight waiting for Pappy's letter. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, yep. Howdy, Dakota. Come to pick me up? Yep. Well... So long, Miss Kate. Say, are you two? Yeehaw! Well, Tarnation, there goes a cowboy, true blue, through and through. Oh, come on, Tarnation. We got a date. Not polite to point. Right, Mayor. There goes Calamity to get her letter. Hmm. We get a load of that there gold. Gotta grab us a hunk of that. Now, Sheriff, why bother with a little honey when we can get the whole hive? I've got an idea. <laughs> Wake up, Tarnation. Time to take delivery of my pappy's annual letter. Actually, it's past time. Where's Walter Carrier Pigeon? He's late. I don't see nothing except a funeral. Well, I wonder who done kicked the bucket. Colonel Cudster? My pappy ain't dead. He's exploring the Mesa. <laughs> Dearly beloved, according to a little-known law of Cowtown, when someone hasn't been heard from in seven years, he or she is declared legally dead. And so, with the dignity and respect, <laughs> we hereby bury George Armstrong Custer. Whoa! Whoa! Settle down, Tarnation! <laughs> Excellent. 
And since the colonel left no will... Of course not. He was coming right back in eight years. Hey! Uh, uh. Then all his possessions, in particular the golden cud mine, shall revert to me. I, I, I mean, uh, to the town. Yes, the town. Well, same difference. Mm. Say what you will, Mayor Baloney. My pappy's not in that box. Yeah. Good morning, folks. This is just a scheme of yours, Mayor Baloney, to lay your hands on the golden cud mine. What? Why, Marshal, I'm insulted. I'm just following the law, just as you're sworn to uphold it. <laughs> Ow! My pappy's alive, I tell you. I get a letter from him every year. Well, it's a little late this year. But I got six others in my bedroom back at the ranch, and I'm gonna go get them right away. <laughs> She's a get in way! To the ranch! The Colorado Kid. You hombres are going nowhere. Except into that box. Now go on! Rest in peace, boys. Jezebel! The Calamity's Ranch! <laughs> Let him go. It's all part of the plan. The baloney. That drop whiskered, stripy pants son of a gun. <gasps> the masked bull! <laughs> But I still got him right here. Well, let's see him. Blank paper. <laughs> Gee, Calamity, don't your pappy know how to ride? No, no I think, kid, the mass bull pulled the switcheroo. <laughs> Lose something, Calamity? Like maybe uh, everything you own? <laughs> Just drop by to survey my, uh, the town's new property. You spat-hooved sidewander! My pappy's alive! Don't come no closer! Hmm. Calamity, take a gander at this. <gasps> a page from one of my pappy's letters. Let me see that. It is my fondest wish, Calamity, that you and your husband uh, shall inherit all that I own and your pappy, Colonel Custer. <laughs> you see? I told you I'd heard from him. This letter is undated. And it could have been written any time. At the very least, it is a will. And she's not about to lose the ranch or the golden cut mine. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. <laughs> the will says everything goes to Calamity and her husband. And Calamity has got no husband. <laughs> husband? Those seven years aren't quite up. This place isn't yours till sundown. Do not open till good and ready. Well, I'm ready. Kinda. <laughs> well, what's she gonna do by sundown? Get married? Yeah! Yippee guy! Oh, cow yeah! It's my wedding day! And I'm off to rope one Dakota dude! Yeah! <laughs> Before sundown. Eddie up, Tarnish. <laughs> That's an outrage. An interference with efficient postal service. <coughs> Release me at once. Ah! 
my name is Walter Carey, a pigeon, my rank delivery bird, serial number. Hi, hi, stop, that's mail, cease and desist. Stuff it, dirty, or I'll stuff you. Uh, I refuse to deal with riffraff. I, I demand to see the sheriff. That can be arranged. So, are we in the dough? More like up the creek, unless we can stop Calamity from marrying the Dakota dude. Dakota? Is that you? Well, I do declare, you look like one prize bull in that there outfit. Well, thanks, I uh, reckon. Ma'am. <laughs> so I guess it's true then. You and Calamity are getting yourselves hitched. Mm -hmm. Guess so. Could be. Now, Dakota, you're not having yourself some second thoughts, are you? Thirds. Miss Kate's one special effort and all, but but getting mm, getting getting mm, married, hitched, uh, wedded. Yep, them things. All us did like being on my own, but I I can't let Miss Kate lose a ranch, like it says in the code. Sometimes a lizard has to change its color to save its spots or something. What? Well. I trust you'll do the right thing, Dakota, because getting married is serious business. Yep. Deputy Dakota, you inside? I found you. Come on, Miss Calamity is waiting at the church. Yep. It's time. Well, uh, that being the case, I guess I'm gonna have to whip y'all up some of the best doggone wedding cake you ever saw. I'll go tell Miss Calamity you're coming. Yippee! <laughs> Sweet dreams, Dakota. You love me, baby. I'm hungry. No. I love the I'm, I'm real hungry. It's odd. What's keeping Deputy Dakota? Lily, have you seen... Oh, uh, you know, them. The happy couple? Well, let's see. Calamity's up the church, and uh, as for Dakota, I, I think he's having a sarsaparilla at the bar, isn't he? Hmm. Sleeping potion. Marshall, I just seen the dude. He's been kidnapped by the master bull. As the code says, a sleeping deputy can't avoid bad dreams. Uh, I'll write that down. It's deep, son. Keep a lookout, Calf Pine, while I rustle up Dakota. Here I am, Marshal. Woo! Fine day for a wedding, ain't it? I decorated the coach myself. I, I, I could tell, kid. But right now, we got business. That's it. 
keep coming. I'm going to finish off Moo Montana if it's the last thing I do. Whoa. I do? Oh. Now, why did the mass bull open up Drop Dead Tunnel? Dakota? <laughs> That's right, Marshal. Now drop that star blazer. Easy does it, boys. Oh, just get in the cart. You know, I feel sorry for you boys. When the Colorado kid gets here... <gasps> All right, quit jabbing with that thing. The suit's rented, you know. <laughs> what was you saying? What was you saying again? I was... Uh, never mind. You too, fancy pants! Hmm, it's one hour till sundown. You ain't making it to any wedding. But you are going on a little honeymoon trip, though. Down into that mine. A real cliffhanger. <laughs> Don't you think? I do. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hold your horses, Mass Bull. Uh, speaking of horses, how'd y'all like to see mine count to one? Huh? What kind of dumb horse can only count to one? Cyclone, ready? One! Grass meta, don't it? <laughs> no, Cactus Canyon. Come on, kid. Gotta get this groom to the church on time. <laughs> oh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here on this occasion to join this lady in matrimony with whomever might to show up. I'm getting hitched, Mayor. You can count on it. We'll see, Colin. We'll see. It's almost sunset, Colorado. Take the shortcut through Reflection Ravine. <laughs> Whoa, here comes a bride. Here comes a bride. We can make it, Moo. Of course, provided nothing unforeseen happens. <laughs> She's got a husband. So I'll marry Calamity Kate. Huh? Huh? Well, I mean, that is, if she'll have me. Oh, Moo. I do appreciate the offer. But if I was to marry anybody, which I wasn't up till now, it'd have to be the right bull. You understand? Well, I do hope you've enjoyed your speech of fire, because it is now two minutes to sundown, and you still are not hitched. 
No need for her to marry anybody. Mo, I've been trying to tell you. I found Walter Carrier Pigeon. He's in jail. On what charge, Baloney? Easy. It slips in my mind at the moment. Well, maybe we'll ask Walter himself. We'll home in on our pigeon. Thirty seconds. Miss Calamity Kate Cudster, I have here a letter from your father. Postmarked yesterday. I knew it! I knew it! I knew he'd written me a letter! She got a letter! She got a letter! Three cents, Doe. She didn't Thank you. I'm mighty beholden to you, Moo. And you too, Cody. You saved my pappy's gold mine. It's a good thing my junior deputy was keeping his eyes peeled. Ah, shucks. It was nothing. <laughs> Am I late? Yep. But <laughs> I'm real glad you were. This gal wasn't really ready to get hitched yet. Yep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but you're one special cowboy. You know I'd always help you if I could, Miss Kate. Like the code of the West says, doing right is its own reward. Listen, you want to help me with something? Come here. All that plotting, and what do I end up with? Nothing. Well, not exactly nothing, Mayor. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who made the cake? 